You may remember a famous study published 25 years ago, which looked at the brain scans of 16 London taxi drivers. The more years a cabbie spent driving, the larger their hippocampus, a part of the brain dedicated to memory. It might just be that all of that memorizing could make the hippocampus grow bigger. The hippocampus is also a part of the brain involved in the development of Alzheimer's disease. So we wondered, could those drivers be protected from developing Alzheimer's disease later in life? We and our other Harvard colleagues looked at data linking death records of Americans to their jobs. We started by measuring Alzheimer's death rates among taxi drivers and ambulance drivers who rely on their memory to navigate on the fly. Our findings surprised us. We found that out of more than 400 occupations we studied, the two with the lowest rates of Alzheimer's death were taxi drivers and ambulance drivers. Taken together, their risk of dying from Alzheimer's disease was 56% lower than the general population at any given age. That's fascinating, but our study can't establish that driving a taxi itself reduces a person's risk of dying from Alzheimer's disease. It simply establishes a link, but a really curious one. So, what can you or I do to strengthen our hippocampus and hopefully avoid Alzheimer's disease? Could deleting those GPS apps from our phones make a difference decades down the road? That's one hypothesis, but we don't know the answer to this question and it's a hard one to study. No short-term research project could possibly replicate the brain changes likely brought on by a career navigating city streets. So, despite the claims of various smartphone games, there's no activity that, if done over a lifetime, has been shown to reduce the risk of Alzheimer's. But, as we're learning from cabbies, it probably won't hurt to flex your navigational muscles a little more, and maybe let yourself get lost every now and then.